morning everyone and welcome back to Adrian Whitehead Golf. Um, today I want to continue with, uh, in the short, with the short game and I've got two shots for you. Number one, we've got what we call the pitch and run, which I'm going to use a nine for. And we've got the half pitch or the pitch shot, which I'm going to use the sound wedge for. Now, the pitch and run is possibly one of the most, for me, is one of the more important shots of in golf not only because of the shot it creates but also the technique because the technique if it's correct will help you build a foundation for the long game and in later videos I'm going to show you uh, we're going to go into talking about body turn and we're going to talk about um, hands and arm movement and the synchronization of all those things so far I've given you three principles I've given you a grip and I've given you a posture and I've given you uh, leg movement and where to feel the pressures during the leg movement but we've also then got the basic four movements of golf which is your upper body and your lower body and your hands and your arms and we've got to try and put that lot together at the right in the right way at the right time but before we go there we're going to talk about these short shots and the first the first thing I'm going to show you today is what we call the pitch and run now the pitch and run is a shot that will come a few feet off the ground it lands and then bobbles on it could be played further from the green it can be played up to maybe 20 meters from the green it can be played when something's in the way but you need time you need space behind whatever you're landing for it to bounce and roll up to the up to the flag um, but it's simple because it's what I've told you already I said to you a few videos back about arm rotation and we used the football in that and said to you how to rotate the arm back. You start with the back of the hand facing towards the target, you swing the arm back, it's now looking at you. Then you swing it down again, it's now looking at the target, and then you have two options. You either hold it on the way through and turn it, which is in the full swing, or you can hold it. And that's what we're gonna do today, we're gonna hold it. So generally that's it. I swing my arms back, I rotate it, I put it into position so the club heads slightly higher than my hands again. I swing it down, I hit the ball back at impact where I started from and then I hold it through, turning the body round facing the target. It's a simple enough movement. The secret is keep a good tempo, never ever 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 decelerate, never slow down as you're trying to hit the ball to be careful. In the beginning overheat it maybe for a while. You could grip a wee bit lower if you wanted to. Posture again, back straight, backside out, bend the knees a little bit more. Even if you grip it lower or not, bend them a little bit more because it'll make your swing shallower out into, in the swing. Um, left foot's going back again, left foot goes back and put a little bit of weight on my left leg, maybe 60 40, not too much. With the chip and run, it was 70 30. But from this position, then I just swing the arms back. Back of the hand is now facing towards you, and then it comes down through, hits the ball, and then we hold it. And it's then creating a nice tempo. From there, once you've done that, and you've practiced that, why it's important for your long game is because really that arm movement is what you're gonna to have to reproduce for your long game. And then as I've mentioned already, you're gonna to start to learn in other videos coming um, I'm going to try and teach you how to use your hands and arms with the body and the legs. So we're synchronizing the whole swing, learning when to do what, at what point. And that's maybe the fourth or fifth major principle of the swing, the synchronization of it. And pulling it together into a nice frame and a nice package and a nice rhythm. Now the second shot today is the pitch shot or half pitch. This, the full pitch, you can be playing up to 100, 100 meters from the green. But this shot is more around the green. So similar, similar sort of setup again. We're going to take the left foot, we're going to bring it back. And, but this time we're going to just change something slightly. Instead of just swinging back with just the arms and rotating the arms again into three, we're going to add hand movement as well. So we're going to break the wrists we actually physically just stand there uh, on the way back and we break the wrists and it sets the club and sets the club up and that will relax the right arm a little bit more 
into that position so now from here as I swing the arms down and I rotate it back I then release the hands out again I do not want any deceleration it must accelerate during the swing impact so you can slow everything else down you're shortening the swing you can slow the rhythm down but it must still be faster at the ball and then in from that position once we set that we hold it through and we turn through to the target and it's a simple enough shot but it is quite difficult and then it's learning to play it gently it comes with time and practice learning to practice and practice pitching over things this shot is generally played when you've got to go over something like a bunker or even out of a bunker so it's just nice and easy and relaxed and through